I'm talking to Ben Benerji, and he's the leader and the organizer of the Blockchain Leadership Summit, which is a conference in uh, Switzerland happening on March the 9th. And, uh, you know, especially a um, conference on leadership, I thought was very interesting. Ben, what is the purpose of this conference and how, uh, what's the story behind it? It's a conference where we have few of the world's top experts, investors, policymakers, visionaries, and academics in the field of blockchain industry, and who are going to come and discuss about how they look at the current state and how they foresee the future of this decentralized world. Yeah. What is, uh, let's start with, first with your uh, background. I mean, you're Dutch, and you studied in, in Delft in uh, electrical science and, and in Groningen, but you live in Switzerland. What is your background there? So uh, my, I have always been, although I studied electrical engineering in Delft, but I have always been in the financial and investment world. And uh, in Switzerland, a couple of years back, I set up the organization. I co-founded it as the Swiss Impact Investment Association. Um, I'm in the board of Climate Leadership Council, uh, East-West Institute, uh, and in Innovara, that is the Swiss Eurasian Innovation Platform. Yeah, okay, yeah. So that is also uh, one of the organizers of the conference. And the, the yes. main, the main, or the main uh, organizer of the conference, the organization behind it is called InMind. What kind of organization is that? It's more than two years old organization based out of Switzerland. It's a platform which connects basically investors, experts, and industry leaders with startups from the, mainly from the emerging world. So it has members from more than 76 countries, but the majority of them are focused in the Eurasian part of the world. Okay, yeah, it looks like a huge amount of uh, clients, and it's interesting because the the old Soviet Union, the old middle, uh, the the old Russian, they are they seem to be extremely active, you know, both in development of blockchain software as also uh, the whole ICO business. It's a very emancipating technology for that region. I that's that's yeah. what I've observed. I see them everywhere. Exactly, it sort of levels the playing field. Yeah, and very creative businessmen are coming on the field and it makes it easier for them to come. And this is not only valid for the Eurasian region, but also for Africa and for Asia. Yeah, and Switzerland is a nice gateway for that organization to go to the West. Uh, that's, uh, they, have done, they have done a good job to put that, uh, to put that function yeah. in there. Let's talk a little yeah. bit about the speakers. Let's pick out. I mean, first, uh, the first one is Prince Michael of Liechtenstein, and he's not there for a ceremony. He's really a speaker who is, an, who is a visionary, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a very, very good speaker and writer. Uh, he also runs the organization called Geopolitical in Intelligence Services. He looks at how the economics, politics, and uh, social movements of countries, trends, and he's a very, very interesting person. Yeah. So we have uh, further, we see IBM here. I see uh, yeah. the um, William, uh, who is an investor at the board uh, or at the Ethereum Foundation, so that's interesting. Yep. Um, one of the people I thought was really interesting, the Blockchain UN Lab. I didn't know it was yep. there, and, uh, but um, it's, it, it sounds like an interesting speaker there. And also you have uh, Cornelia Meyer, who's um, uh, an expert at OPEC, International yep. Economist. Yep. And, and she's also the advisor to the King of Saudi Arabia. Okay, so we have some uh, interesting uh, connections there. So I see a lot of different speakers. Uh, who are what, what are what are the main subjects which they're talking about? So they are mainly talking about the regulatory, the government policymakers, uh, the scientific, the academical sides of the blockchain technology and the cryptocurrency. Okay, and you also have. Uh, would you say it's more uh, ICO focused, or is it banks, or is it both, or? Um, it's what? it's both. It's both. And it is more on the leadership level. So these are the most of the people who are coming here are the decision makers and the policy makers. And they can also tell a lot about where they stand and how they look at it. Okay. If you look at the, uh, the organization, how, 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 is the, uh, how is it set up? Uh, what are the, you, have a different, you have different programs within the summit? Yeah, yeah. So the summit starts at 8.30 in the morning till 5.00. So in the one main hall, there will be panels. There will be seven panel discussions uh, where speakers will first give a short uh, kind of vision or summary of their ideas of what they believe in or what they think. And then there will be a discussion with them. Mm -hmm. The audience will also be involved. In the smaller hall, there will be workshops conducted for people who are interested in ICOs, for companies who want to learn about it or who want to learn about blockchain. 
and for uh, investors. If they're invest interested to know what is happening in this, uh, they can meet uh, companies who can make their pitches there. Okay, how many people do you expect? Uh, we are limited, unfortunately, to 600 uh, because of the location. Okay, well, 600 is a lot of people. Do you think uh, you will have, you will get 600 people and where will they, and where will they come from? Uh, we already have most of the people covered. Mm -hmm. uh, majority of them are from the, the German-speaking part of Europe and from the Eurasian region. Ah, but it is in English or is it in German? No, no, no. The whole conference is in English. <laughs> and the, the program is also, uh, it's from 9 to 5 and then afterwards there's a VIP event, right? Yeah, there is a VIP dinner, a gala dinner from 6 o'clock onwards at the same location. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and there also will be an art auction where the money coming in from the auction will go to charity involving children, yeah. children education. Okay, but anyway, this will be in. A, if you are interested in this part of the world and in leadership, this is a very interesting conference, um, which will happen on uh, March the 9th. I'll make sure uh, I'll make sure we have all the links in this interview that people can uh, can look it up, and um, we basically give them a preview. And I hope uh, to see a lot of you there at, uh, in March the 9th in uh, Switzerland, because I think uh, this will be a very interesting concept and an uh, interesting summit. So thank you very much, Ben. We'll see you there. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>